Hello everybody, this is Concrete History Games, and welcome back to, I think, part 7 of my Pelly's America playthrough here in Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich. This is actually the second time I've started to record this because I had started to do it, and then basically there was an error and the recording cut out uh, like 10 minutes in, so I had to start over. So, I'm trying to remember where the heck we were because uh, I didn't even continue playing because I had to go. Uh... We did the new diplomatic core thing. We were right. Army bonus bill, research slots. Yes, definitely get that. So since that's going to be for the infantry equipment, let's try to get over here because we are really far behind in technology. Uh, so much so that I think at some point I'm going to need to. Hmm, yeah, I'm going to need to probably do a brief detour over to research cooperation. Uh, but then I have to do Arsenal of America. I got to do Dollar Diplomacy. Never mind. After we've got the research slot, I'll probably start getting my way towards research cooperation just so I can do other things. What is this? Justification of war goals? Yemen. Right. I knew that. Okay. Let's switch over to the better anti-tank equipment. And keep working on this infantry stuff so the bonus can be put to better use. <clears throat> All right. So we've got the first armored here. We're also, <clears throat> we're also still trying, kind of waiting for a, a potential breakthrough somewhere uh, that we can take advantage of. You know what? The heck with Yemen. I don't care about Yemen on second thought. We're going to stop, collaborate, and anyway. So, so who are we fighting? It really is just the Union of Britain that is left. So we're not. I'm not going to set up the war with Germany until they take the Paris focus. Which, I think, yeah, he was he doing this cruiser thing before? I don't remember, but we need to wait for him to pick up Return to Paris so he can get all of his cores. And then he's going to, like, figure out some other stuff, get his research slot and things. But if we do not have a decent French ally, we're not going anywhere. Now, one thing I'm kind of on the fence about, I don't know whether I want it to happen or not, is the potential for the second Peace with Honor to happen in which Mosley here will stay in charge of Britain. <sighs> and, like, on the one hand, it's good, because that means we can begin to consolidate our forces, us and the rest of the Entente. But the bad thing is, and, and like, the bad news is that Canada wouldn't have the United Kingdom, so all the potential economic bonuses of the United Kingdom, all that stuff that we're going to get, like, yeah, look at this, there's almost 100 factories in here we could be using for the war effort. We're not going to have access to any of that. All right, meanwhile, uh, wait, what is this? Calls me into the war. Which war? Was this the Yemen thing? Sure. But I'm not actually going to help you. You guys are going to have to take care of that on your own. Uh, was I justifying down here? I forget. On the central... No, I'm not. Let's get on that. And maybe another one on Haiti. Need a little more political power. Okay, how's this going? I have one more marine being set up. We got some more infantry divisions going. A little bit short on the anti-tank. That's about it. <clears throat> oh, but we don't even have it incorporated into these divisions. That's an issue. Um, hmm. Are we getting the research bonus anyway? Imperial and Scientific Academic Council. Oh, okay. So, never mind then. We don't have to worry about that. Uh, but perhaps, no, no, let's not get the nukes. Not just yet. Maybe later. So, as I was saying, can we try to set up Haiti here? Or do we want to go for Haiti now, or do we want to keep going further south? If I'm going to be taking bites that are going to cost me political power, I should be taking bigger bites, right? 32 divisions here, 5 to 8 there. So Venezuela, the one with all the oil, has only 5 to 8 divisions, you say. Hmm, very interesting. Let's get working on that. Okay. Mother's movement clashes with feminists. Hold on a sec, let me pick up the trade officers. Now, <coughs> one of the least likely sources... Of support within the America First Party came from Mother's Movements. The Mother's Movements are a group of religiously minded conservative women that aligned with the radical elements that sought to undermine Huey Long. 
Now that Huey is long gone, leaders like Alma Brid Bridwell White and Elizabeth Dilling now direct hysteria against suspected socialists. Their marches have also demonstrated a xenophobia against Catholics and blacks as well. Their position within this new America is tenuous, as the highest members of our government regard the 19th Amendment with only slightly more respect than the 13th through 15th. 13th through 15th, of course, are the so-called Civil War Amendments, even though they all passed after the Civil War. And uh, the 19th is the the one that uh, granted women the, the right to vote. For now, they're useful. Okay. What are we going to do here? We need... How's the infrastructure looking? Let's get more here. You know, I don't remember if it was in this episode and the one that I tried to record, but I lost it, or a previous one that I was... Uh, I was I brought up who exactly Pelly was. I talked about him in real life. So I think I talked about it, so I'm not going to in this episode, but afterwards I'll go back and check. And if not, I'll I'll talk about exactly you know who the heck William Pelly was in our original timeline uh, in the next one. Alright. Ooh, decline that. No, no non aggression with Middle Africa. No, 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 no. Starting to release a lot of people, and it's annoying me. Okay. Whoa, nice. We got a good. Uh, wait, these guys aren't in my faction. Let me get some military access here. We got a. I think we have an opportunity here to take advantage. Let's see, they've only got like one division there. Let's try over here in Dover. Try being the operative word. Go, 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 man. Go, go, go. Actually, here's what I really should do. Split them. Go, 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 go. Iran just declared on Afghanistan. How interesting. <clears throat> All right. Looks like a decent amount of Sicilians are here. The hardest part is going to be dealing with organization. Loss. Uh, okay, it's coming up quick, it's coming up quick, 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 quick. Alright, into position, man, into position. Alright. Here we go. Can we go into London? It doesn't look like there's anybody there. No, they're about to lose Portsmouth. My guys aren't even bothering to go that way. All right. Everybody commit to here to the Dover pocket then. Come on. Can we relieve Portsmouth? No, we're not going to get there in time. No way, Jose. What's the problem here? Division's not preparing. Some are not in position. Just go. Just get moving. Does this slow down my, uh, let's see, entrenchment, defense, cannot retreat while defending? No. We need to do a force attack. We need to get off the beaches. Quickly now. Quickly. Good news is our supply looks pretty good. Um, we got some other fights happening up here. We're about to get to Portsmouth, which is going to grant us another naval base to attack from. I'll try to get you guys up here towards London. There we go. Let's also delete that. Just clean that up a little bit. Alright, very good. Very, very good. Might be able to hold the whole southern region. Excellent, excellent. Now, how many divisions do they have here? Between 26 and 67. Let's get our tanks up there quickly. as rapidly as we can. Okay, it's still looking good. Looking very good. We're almost into London even. Wait, we're able to attack right here? That's strange. Alright, where's those tanks of mine? They're crossing. 
They're going to make it. Nice, nice invasion here by Liverpool. Yep, they're crumbling now. All right, go, Takes, go. Meet up with the Liverpool pocket. This is very good. And I don't even have the anti-tank stuff incorporated. Speaking of which, how far along are we there? We could be further, but let's pick up the artillery so then we can also get working on rockets. All right, peace conference. Oh, that's the Yemen thing. Okay, if it ended that quickly, Yemen probably got the peace they wanted. All right, now over here, um, I'm wondering if on second thought, should I, should I pick up some of the, yeah, let's pick up some of this support stuff instead. here to Bangor. Plymouth is still hanging in there. So is London. Wow, that's a very interesting looking uh, tank model. I don't think I've seen that before. But it soon will be all over but the crying. Very good. Very excellent. Now, what's going on over here in... Um, and this is going to start in on September 3rd. This war will start when? September 21st. Okay, so we've got time to kill, to say the least. Um, let's queue up some more divisions while we wait. Oh, that's as many as I can have at a time right now, right? Okay, that's cool. There goes Ching. London still won't fall. Uh, okay, and something's going on. Feng Tian took 40 states. Japan took four. Which four? Hmm. It's got a big old Feng Tian government now, though. Hmm. Okay. Why are they having so much trouble dealing with this one division? About to get East Anglia totally isolated here. Okay, he's now become a trickster. Any other traits you're about to pick up? He's almost an engineer. Ooh, once he's an engineer, we can get either Fortress Buster or Scavenger. There goes London. Reports from London confirm the capital of the Union Britain has been captured by advancing Canadian troops after long staged battles across the Thames River. Awesome. Okay, what's next? Uh, support equipment, right. We gotta keep working on that. All right, these guys have now been totally isolated. Okay. Looking good. What is this, the Austrians? Oh, that's right, I forgot they were at war with uh, the Third International as well. Just got this one little pocket left. How many British have died over the course of this? 1.28 million. All right. Norwich is ours. Let's redraw the line. Like so. Where are my tanks? Let's get you guys right here. Of course, they're going to have a bit of trouble, I anticipate. Heading north. But it's okay. Just get aggressive. Yep, they're they're ripping right through them still. Even with the terrain penalties, minus 68.7 attack, and it's still no trouble at all. Are we about to get the support brigades? All right. Anything else I needed while I was here? Signal companies, right? I do have those signal companies in here, right? I forget. No, I don't. Okay, let's get that and the engineers, and you know what? Let's get some anti-tank so we can pierce any mediums we run into. go all the way up to Scapa Flow. Gotcha. 
All right, uh, that should be it, right? Are we gonna need Newcastle? There it is. And it's over. It's all over. Okay, we got a lot of passing we've got to do. So what are we gonna do? Who Do we have an Italian ally, first off? Middle Africa, Bohemia, Galicia, Dososacian. We might just give it to the two Sicilies. All right, well, well, first things first. Where's the Canadians? Did I pass them? No, apparently not. Where are you? Oh, Canada, why can't I see your flag? Germany, Italian Republic, Brazil. There we go, Canada. Okay, so first things first. We're going to give all that to them. Yeah, that's that is Canada. Let me just be totally sure. Okay, next. Uh, do we have a particular... I guess I could just puppet the Iberian Federation. Just so I can be sure it goes to the people I want. Or we could just... Oh, you know what? Let's just give the whole thing to Portugal. Portugal, 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 Portugal. Where are they? Here we go, right at the top. So we'll just give that all to them. All right. Okay, what's next? Uh, free Liberia. I think that would be an excellent start for our overseas African labor camp. I mean, empire, colony thing. So that's going to be mine. What's next? Italy. So who, who, do, who do we got? Do we have anybody on it? Oh, Sardinia, right. So where are they? Brazil, Illyria, Galicia, two Sicilies, the Papal States. There we go. So you get all that. Um, yep. Yep, I think that's good. Yeah, because Nice belongs to the French. Okay. I think that's, uh, that's good. That will do it. All right, peace in our time. And then Canada is going to be doing its switch over here in a second. There we go. Everybody's deciding what they're going to puppet and not puppet and whatever. All right, so Portugal ended up creating the Kingdom of Spain. I expected as much. You know, they got the they got Galicia up here, which they don't have as a core. Hmm. All right. Mm, we want electronics, maybe. Yeah, I don't need the military factories right now. Okay, we can continue to core some things. How much is it going to cost? Because it costs me 50 political power once I take Liberia. So if I'm going to get some cores, I think now is the time to do it. All right, we, we did the South. Did we not do the South Atlantic states? Hmm. All right, well, of course we prioritize the South. Now, where's my Marines? We're going to bring you guys over here to Puerto Rico and prepare you for the invasion of Colombia. So also we finally have some units ready to deploy. Hallelujah. All right, how about you guys? U24 are also ready, excellent. Once they're all popped out, we can get a lot more going. What, what am I short on infantry equipment? It's just a little bit, I'll have it back in a month or two. Yeah, 143 days. Okay, maybe a little longer than a month or two, but you guys get the gist of it. Yeah, we'll have all those built before you know it. So we got the 24 of you. We're going to put you under, not chesty puller, Hodes. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you, I want you to get ready to cut your teeth down in Venezuela. You're going to exploit the breach once my Marines are over there. Uh, how's my Navy? Let's get you guys assigned over here. Did I not? There we go. John McCain Sr., who should be a carrier guy, but it's fine. I probably should start to build a, a greater variety of... Uh, of naval stuff besides just submarines so let's pick that up and just make some cruisers just a few probably could make some dreadnoughts i've got the chromium 
and soon I will have the oil. Okay. Okay, what is next? What do, okay, so, so we're, we're, all right. French Republic's about to do its return to Paris. Uh, Commonwealth of Canada, I think, needs to do Return of the King. They're probably going to do that as soon as they're finished up with their current focus. So then we'll have the United Kingdom. They're going to have their cores. Of course, they're going to have to recover for a little bit. But uh, once those two things have been done, we can start thinking about how we're going to play the war against Germany. Can I build some tanks? How many of those do I have? I've got plenty. Uh, but infantry equipment is actually the problem. All right, who's ready to deploy? Right, Marines. We've got some more Marines ready to go. Come on. What's going on here? Come on. What do my Marines look like again? I, I forget what their template is. Oh, goodness gracious. That will not do. Uh, we need some artillery. There we go. Design change would put us over the special forces limit. Okay, let's cancel that then. That still put me over. Okay, remove. And then... Actually, let's let's make this look a little nicer. Uh, Marines, artillery, artillery. Okay, and we're gonna take this out. I don't know. Uh, oh yeah, once we have rockets, I think that's when I'll I'll put those in there, or I might put something else. All right, infantry equipment. We need more of it. <laughs> Lots more. That's what we're mainly having trouble with right now. Okay. Uh, and remember, we always have this punish the corrupt and treacherous whenever I feel I need some political power quickly. So we can get... Yeah, now we need the military factories. What do we got over here? Anything useful? National populace. Yaki. Yeah, we want him. He's going to put us almost to one political power point a day, which is very good. Because, and also when another another thing with the army bonus bill, is that's going to put us into the seventy percent range, which means I should be getting zero point seven five party popularity every day, which will be more than one a day. Of course, in two days we're about to take a hit because of Liberia. Yep, there it is. Call to arms request against Argentina, Uruguay, Peru, Nationals, Chile, and Paraguay. I will say yes to that, although we're not going to help them right now, because in a month or so we're gonna we're gonna have some other things to do. So we gotta. Oh yeah, we are gonna absorb quite a bit of this. Although I probably will just puppet these ones down here, like Argentina and all them. Anyway, are all my Marines in place, more or less? Okay. Oh yeah, give me that land lease. All right, we'll get one of you down here to Caracas. Oops. All right, some of you are gonna go to Caracas. The rest of you, I'm thinking something like, there we go. Restoration of the United Kingdom in a decidedly dramatic turn of events. The Republican regime in the Union of Britain has fallen and the Royalist government under the House of Windsor has now finally returned to London. King Edward VIII has been formally coronated in Westminster Abbey, fulfilling his life's dream of avenging his father's exile during the British Revolution. And already efforts to rid the nation of its syndicalist ties are underway. The British Isles have been chained beyond all recognition in only a short period of time. And the roots of leftist influence have been deeply embedded in the institutions of the nation and the psyche of its people. Many across the globe now wait with bated breath to see what actions the newly restored United Kingdom will take on the world stage. A new order or the return of the old. Okay, so let's get another invasion. We've got these guys coming for Caracas. Have some of you come over here. And uh, these guys all need a little bit of training, I think. Another invasion from Guantanamo over here. One of those we'll have to go through, I'm sure of it. Okay. What's next? Uh, Portuguese Paraguayan War, right? I know all that. Um, 
not quite worth it even with the ahead of time. What we got here? We can take the advanced computing machine, and that I think is worth getting ahead of time. We're about to get finish up getting this core, and how much more did that give us? It's gonna take a day. Or we get nothing. All right, apparently we got nothing. Oh, because you know what? I think those are areas I did already have core. But then again, the South Atlantic state. Well, I can't see the states anymore, but I thought it went up to like Maryland. I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. It fits with uh, the role play that he would just keep rebuilding the South first. Okay, so Brazil's doing okay, holding these guys off. They've got half a million in reserve. These guys have about 20 million in reserve. They got about 10 million in reserve. Peru's got 15,000 in reserve, and Nationalist Chile has about 15,000 in reserve. So in reserve. So Argentina is doing the heavy lifting here. So I think that means we can come over here to Peru, isolate them, and take them out first. Um, yeah, because Brazil has no way I think to get over there. Not really. Colombia's in the way. Wait, shouldn't I have my war goal yet? Wait, what is this justification? Italian Republic is justifying against Sardinia Piedmont. Whoa, 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 whoa. You want to run that by me again? Oh, this means we're going to have to take out all of Austria. Okay, well, let's get in position for that then. Okay, those 24 I think actually should be plenty uh, to deal with them. Let's get you guys off the island. How's Germany doing? Hmm. And how about France? Okay, so France actually does not have the much manpower. What is up with that? Anti-Communard, lowering the daily support for them. Entente Research, Reactionary Republic, Fort Standardization. They've got 34 divisions, but I don't think we're going to be able to depend on them too much. Same thing with the United Kingdom. They've got a few syndicalist things that are hurting them. What's next? Special Forces stuff? Hmm. Let's pick up... Yeah, Landing Craft. I do want the Landing Craft. Alright, that's fine. They don't have to be completely trained. Um, infantry equipment we are still short on. This is really, really load up on it. That's always the first thing to go. Hmm. And Hood, William Hood Simpson here, we're probably gonna, uh, let's see, do I know, do, yeah, Fortress Buster. We're gonna probably promote him at some point to my next field marshal. Alright, ready for Belize. I don't think we're gonna need any help besides these 17 to deal with this. We might even, uh, actually I don't think we're gonna be able to get it done in this episode, but let's have them start going down. And is there any reason to justify on anybody else? Costa Rica is guaranteed by Germany, so that's going to be a no-go. Colombia, if we take, if we start a war with them, that'll just naturally lead to, into us going south towards Peru. Hmm. This is tricky. A little bit tricky in some areas. All right. Oh, you're up. you're ready for an upgrade. No, you're not. Never mind. How about you, Patton? How are you doing? He's still level 6. Skill level 6. I don't know what I want to give him next. Probably, uh... Probably give him a logistics thing. I don't know. But you are in need of an upgrade, sir. Okay, these guys all want to join the wars. I don't want you to, though. I've got this under control. Now, Venezuela, this will be ready in October. Okay, so in about 5 days, we can, uh, we can start going after them about Panama what are you looking like I think we can just we need a little more political power but we can start justifying on these continue to make the circle complete all right that's done let's declare that war as well justify on Colombia I know we're eating through a lot of political power here but hey, it'll be worth it when I pick up these 14 factories, right? <laughs> what, what is this fight going on here? Oh, it's the Venezuela Navy. Let's go. 
Get a quick force attack, and I actually caught a couple of my divisions. That's a problem. That's a problematic. All right, just get off the beach. Get off the beach. And into Caracas if you can. Well, that's definitely a breakthrough, though. So we can at least take half of you guys, I'm thinking. Whoops. There we go. Let's get about half of you moving over there. And we took Caracas, so now the other half will go as well. Whoops. Okay. Good start. Very good start. So in the next episode, we will take out Venezuela. We will take out the Central American Republic. And we will fight the war against the Italian Republic. This is going to start in January. Yeah, in January of 1942. Afterwards, that means we're going to have to deal with the Austrian Empire. Now, the good news here is that they haven't taken any of the drastic... They haven't done drastic measures in dire times or still their king or dualism restored. So we've got time until Austria unifies, which means if we're lucky, we might be able to just sort of rush um, Vienna. I don't know. We'll have to see how lucky we get. Uh, like, cause, cause it's all about the Po River. If we can't get over the Po, it's game over. Well, not game over, but it's going to turn into this horrible grind. Unless maybe I can get a marine invasion going. But obviously my marines are busy here in the Western Hemisphere. We've got Argentina and Peru to deal with. Uh, we have lots of responsibilities. And lots of things we got to do. Now the good news is th about this war with Austria. Happening now rather than like them, the Italian Republic declaring on me while we were already at war with Germany. Is this means we're going to be able to do something with all of this. We can get them all on our side. And now we've opened up a southern route into Germany, which is not covered by uh, forts. Although admittedly it does have some rivers and mountains. I'll see you in the next episode. It's sure getting interesting. You have yourselves a great day. And uh, I'm going to check to see if I talked about Pelly in part six or not. And if I didn't, I swear in the next episode, I'll go over his in real life biography. See you then. Bye.